reputation for your eyelash extensions and most importantly your aftercare. So who we are, um, Eyelash Emporium was born um, at Pima Studios and we're all about, we live, we live lashes, we love lashes, um, we love the show stopping, eye popping, jaw dropping um, lashes. They were born as I say backstage at Pinewood. Um, we're lash specialists, we're, we're one of the leaders in our field. Um, we're really, really hot on education. We love to educate you. So in turn, you go away and do the most amazing eyelashes that you could possibly do. And in turn, your clients will come back again and again and again. Um, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, so is there, is there any technicians in the crowd? Does anybody do eyelash extensions? You all do, and do you use Eyelash Emporium? Or do you, you all do as well? Brilliant. Um, well, basically, I've been working for Eyelash Emporium for a while now. I've been in the industry for nearly 13 years. Um, loving eyelashes since I first did them nine years ago, and that is the biggest part of my business inside work and outside work. Um, basically, we have a big team, we've got a big new stand across the way, isn't it? Everyone been? Or... So, we're in, in the process of doing like a big rebrand at the minute. So, you'll see all of our products, we've all got loads and loads of different stage names, there's some new products in the line, there's some existing ones, we've not changed any of our ingredients, they're still amazing as ever. Um, but yeah, basically come over, have a little look, get a little free sample pack, um, we've got loads of show offers on at the minute as well. Okay, I'm going to hand you over to Cheryl. Now. Okay. okay, so I'm Cheryl, I'm from Liverpool, I'm one of the um, trainers for Eyelash Emporium. I've been with Eyelash Emporium for um, 10 months now. I have been teaching eyelashes for over seven years. I've worked for other lash brands, and what made me interested in working and being part of the Eyelash Emporium team was big for their education and product. Um, what sets us apart from any other lash brand is that we've won many awards for our training. The training is outstanding. We've won three years on the run now for Pacific Trainer in um, Eyelash Excellence. Um, so yeah, we give our students amazing support, one-to-one -one, um, workshops. Once you do our training, we give you in-depth feedback on all your case studies and work that you do to help you progress within your career of eyelashes. Our um, trainers are all working within the industry, doing clients themselves, so they're you know, um, out there, like you, lash, lash techs, dealing with these problems day in, day out, retention, you know, clients not turning up, design, all those things, and we're there helping our students um, develop in those areas. So I'm really happy to be part of the Eyelash Emporium. Okay, so being a professional and obviously offering this type of service and treatment to clients, we need to be professional at all times, and we need to be educating our clients in how to care for eyelash extensions. Because obviously in the first 24 hours to 48 hours, the client needs to be sticking to our, our aftercare advice. It's up to us as, as um, you know, a therapist in educating our clients on how to look after the eyelash extensions. So we should be educating them what they should do, what they shouldn't do. We should be advising them you know, in products. Yeah, in what they should be um, using at home. In return for this, you obviously the client will come back. You'll um, be retailing products to your client, so you're in, you know you'll have a good investment and profit margins. Your um, work will stand out from other people's uh, lash work because yours will be lasting much longer because the durability is better if the eyelashes are cared for correctly and they're using the, the correct products. Also with Eyelash Emporium, we provide our clients with um, aftercare advice leaflets which we recommend that you give to your clients at the end of the treatment, which contains all that information. Obviously, on the appointment, you'll tell the client what to do, but once she goes home, often they forget. But if you've given them a leaflet, which contains all the information, then you can't, you know, they know what to do then, they've got it there, they can read it themselves. In return for that, you doing that, your clients will then boast about you. They'll be doing selfies, which you can share. I don't know about any of you girls, but any of, the girl, any of my clients that I do, when they post any pictures, I'm zooming in, I'm checking in on those eyelashes, see how they've been looking at them, looking after them, if they've got any, been wearing any mascara on them, all those things. Um, and then I'll repost those pictures, because my eyelash work looks amazing. They've been maintaining the aftercare as, as well. Um, so it gets everybody talking about you, bringing clients to your um, salon. Next. OK, 
Okay, so the main things that we need to be talking to the clients about um, and what they need to be avoiding in the first 24 to 48 hours is that they don't obviously come into contact with um, any heat or steam. So they want, we want them to avoid um, saunas, um, steam rooms, having a hot shower. I don't know about anybody else, but when I go for my lash infill or my lash appointment, if I need to shower that night, I'm in a freezing cold shower, quick as I can because I don't want any you know, heat or steam in the area, so it affects my durability of my eyelashes. So we need to educate the clients that you know, they need to avoid these things in the first 24 to 48 hours so that it doesn't affect the bond of the adhesive while it's curing. Okay, the other thing is obviously educating the clients that they're not to use any oily products around the eye. Clients think they can use anything. They'll be like, oh yeah, I've been cleansing, this has been fine, I've been using baby oil, this, that and the other. Um, it's up to you to tell them, you know, the, what not to use, especially oil, oily products and lotions around the eye, because obviously it's going to affect the bond um, of the adhesive, and the, the um, extension will just slip off the natural lash. Therefore, um, the durability of the lashes won't be lasting when they come back. You know, they'll, you'll find that their lashes they need an infill quite soon if they've been using these type of products. The other thing is as well that. Um, the client needs to be aware of as well that they can't have these eyelash extensions tinted, they can't be perming them um, or using any chemical treatments on them because they are obviously a synthetic eyelash, they're plastic, there's a lot of implications from these. If your clients feel they need some type of um, curling mechanism on them then maybe you as a lash tech need to be looking at what lashes and what curl you've chosen for your clients. So in order you know, to change that, you would need to up for um, a curlier lash because obviously if she wants it curled, she, if she's going to use a mechanical curler on it, it's because it's not doing anything for her. So it's about looking at what you've been providing the client with and changing that curl to suit her and make her happy. Where am I now? Okay. Okay, we also want, don't want the clients picking or pulling at their eyelashes. If they're picking and pulling at their eyelashes, they're obviously going to pull their natural lash out, which in turn, when they come back, there's, there's going to be lots of damage there. Um, it doesn't look good. If they are picking and pulling at lashes, the likelihood is you've gone too close with the eyelash extension. There must be some irritation there. That's the reason why they've got the, the fingers around the eyes. We want to avoid them touching the eyelashes. We don't want them to dislodge it whilst the, the, the adhesive is curing within that time. And... Um, Whilst the client is touching the eyes continually, she, her hands aren't clean, they're full of bacteria. The likelihood is, you know, we're, we're gonna, um, they're going to come down with some conditions, you know, like bacterial infections and things like that. Going back to the eyelash extension being applied too close, we can cause the client to have a sty as well, which is a blocked gland along the lash line. So we would make sure that you didn't apply your lashes too close so that the client isn't trying to pick or pull at them. And I said before about avoiding oily products, again, you know, whatever their makeup routine is when they're taking their makeup off of a night, the likelihood is they're using an oily product. Again, this is going to have an effect on the adhesive. It, it will make the actual extension just slide off um, the natural lash and there'll be a lot more loss there. We, as Eyelash Emporium, have developed some new products, which I'll talk about a little bit later, which are ideal for you to be using um, in preparation for full sets and infills and also upselling to your client to use as, as home care. Again, we want to avoid the eyelash curlers because they're going to you know, change the shape of the extension. If it's heated, it will also melt our product and you just need to um, change your curl. We want the clients as well. We want to ensure, you know, times have moved now. We're, we're, you know, back in the day, five years ago, when we were all training, we were told, don't get the eyelashes wet, ever. So when we had our eyelash extensions on, we wouldn't even cleanse around our eyes. We were really careful, we weren't cleaning. But now it's all about the health of the lash. We need to be educating clients that they need to be cleansing their, their lashes every day, okay? Um, and this will eliminate, you know, the clients, from, it will remove all daily dirt and grime. Our new lash cleanser breaks down any of the eye makeup that they're wearing and it's oil free so it's a, it's a foaming mechanism it's fab, it's fab and it puts through all eyeliners and any products they're using on the eyelashes oh. yeah. okay, so following on from 
from what Cheryl just said about um, our new products, um, you'll see up there the perfect tools. Um, it's really important to invest in your aftercare. Um, Cheryl mentioned our new cleansing foam and our sweeper brush. You can see it on the um, side of the screen there. Basically, we're going to do a little demo with the brush and with the foam cleanser, and it's absolutely amazing. So it's really, really important to be cleaning your eyelashes. A lot of people think they can't touch them. Um, so this basically is your little friend, really, in, in a little pack. It comes on the stand. Come over and have a little look at it. Um, you can retail them to your clients as well. So their brush is going to be their best friend. They can use it every single day. Um, and we will do a little demo with that as well. Um, we've also got some new um, products. So we've got a finishing glaze to use at the end of your treatment. Um, a lot of our therapists have been asking for, uh, to, can we get a bring mascara? Can we bring something out? to put on the end of the eyelashes so we've brought out cinematic finishing glaze and basically this is oil free and um, it gives the lashes a nice sheen towards the end a, a little bit of a wet look kind of sets the eyelashes and um, there's no color to it at all so it's not going to affect any of the lashes um, and they can take it home with them they can use it daily they can bring their eyebrows with it as well it's got a fab little brush on the end i love brows and i love eyelashes so i think they kind of go hand in hand together um, so yeah as i say a little there it is, down here. It's a little bit small to see. If you want to have a little look, feel free to come up at the end and have a little look at the product. I say all come over to our stand as well. And um, we do another thing as well, which is called the freeze frame lash sealant. This is black. It's not a mascara. It's quite similar to the finishing glaze, but it does have a bit of colour to it. So you might find that clients are going to say, oh, um, after a week or so, I quite like a little, little bit of darkness around the eyes, a little bit of definition. This is going to give you that. It just gives more of um, a darker sort of look to the lashes. So if someone loves mascara but also loves eyelash extensions, absolutely perfect to use as well. But it will condition them at the same time. So that they kind of go hand in hand um, together and they're really, really fab. And then we've got our um, eyeliner. And as I say, that is high impact. And it's a really, really nice pen. It glides on very well. You can do all your lash flicks. You can do everything with them. Um, it does come off with a cleansing foam as well. So all of these products go hand in hand together. They're definitely worth investing in, um, definitely for your retail side as well and for your aftercare. Okay, so on this stand we have got an um, aftercare kit. So it's got everything that your client is going to need um, to take home with them. You've got your glaze in there, you've got some mascara ones, um, you've got your cleansing brush and you've got your foam. And they retail at £35 um, each, but you can include them in, as at home I would include them in the cost of my treatment. So they feel like they're getting this at the end of it as well as an amazing, most amazing pair of eyelashes as well. It's really, really good, good to do. And then you've also got your kit as well, which is this on our stand. We've got an amazing offer today as well, so come over and ask us a little bit about it. But that is just your, um, your cleansing foam and your brush together. So it's just those two. Okay, can I do that videos um, we did um, an eyelash shoot a couple of weeks ago um, we worked with some amazing models and we've done three key looks um, so this video is just going to show you a little bit of a glimpse about the girls that we chose and the different different looks with them as well oh, sorry
Okay, so I'm just going to demonstrate the um, lash cleansing foam and the brush that we're now selling. Um, so all you need to do is just pump on some of the foam onto the brush. Close the client's eyes. And then you can just sweep the product through the lash extensions and do circle motions. This brush is fine enough to get in between all of the eyelash extensions, removing all of the makeup. It's gentle enough so it's not pulling on the um, adhesive bond. It's not going to pull out the eyelash extensions. So all I'm doing is sweeping it along the lash the length of the lashes and then just circling back and forth making sure all the eye makeup is off. You can wash this brush, obviously you're going to get um, contamination of makeup on there. So we'd use some antibacterial hand wash and some antibacterial wash just to cleanse the brush, just like any makeup brush that you would use at home. Okay, then you're going to rinse off the product with some um, just water. So I'm just using a little bit of tissue underneath the eye just to um, collect any excess water so it's not rolling down my face because we're going back over to the stand in a minute. Okay, once you've done that, then you would just pat the eye dry then, so just using some tissue. I'd recommend tissues because um, obviously the cotton wool will stick to the eyelash extensions and that's the same well. Okay, and then I would finish off then with some of the cinematic finishing glaze. I just use my disposable mascara one so I'm not contaminating my product. And I like to sweep this product on the full length of the extension on top. And then it just opens up and just give this a brush throughout the lashes as well. And it just sets the extensions, makes them look really shiny, coats the um, adhesive bond as well, so you get that long lasting durability of the eyelashes. And that is it. Okay. Ta da! Okay, there we go. Thank you very much. Um, as I say, all the products are on the stand. Feel free to come over, have a little try of the products, and have a little play yourself as well. Um, we are on stand P28. Thank you very much for listening. Have a lovely day.